Now, before you embark on this journey to Sunshine Island and uh, high fees becoming more in demand and winning projects that you used to not win and get paid for the work you used to not get paid for, I want you to consider one other mindset thing. And it's really, really important. Because mindset really needs to go before the strategy. You need the mindset first, then the strategy. So here's a little mindset thing I want you to think about. And this is my observation. I'm not an architect. I've never been an architect. I would be a terrible architect if I was one. But I'm a good marketer for architects. But I, what I have had a chance to do in the six years that I've been working with architects is notice a lot of things. And it's kind of useful when you've got a third party. Um, well, I'm not really a third party. But you've got someone someone who's who's just watching and observing and not not locked in the, in the mire of, of all the issues and problems. And it seems to me, my observation is this that at least 50% of the people who contact you in any month about a project, it seems to me that about a 50% at least of the people have projects that you really don't want to be doing or you shouldn't be doing or they don't really qualify because they don't have the budget or they have uh, misconceptions about what everything will cost and how much they want to pay. So at least 50% of the people who contact you, you really shouldn't be dealing with. And it, it raises a really interesting question. Should you be trying to sell to everybody who contacts you? And the big mistake most architects make, and it's the reason they never get to Sunshine Island, is because they say yes pretty much to everybody who knocks on their door. And I'm going to propose to you, or, or make just get you to consider at least, the concept of no, right? The concept of no. The concept that if only at maximum 50% of the people who contact you are really worthy projects, that means 50% aren't. That means you should be saying no to at least 50% of the people who contact you. That's a pretty foreign concept to most architects who are just naturally have trained themselves to kind of leap on any opportunity that comes up and try and, if it doesn't fit perfectly try and make it fit. So what I want you to consider is actually having a no list, a no list of the type of projects you will say no to and having a no list of the type of clients that you will say no to. You know, how much money do they have to bring to the table um, before you'll say no? Or how much, you know, how much money don't they have before you'll say no? What sort of attitude do they have to have for you to say no? What sort of project type? Do they have to be embarking on for you, for you to want to say no? You need to be very clear about your no's. And if you're clear about your no's, then it allows you to be much stronger. And, and the role of discussing a project with a potential client, the first role that you'll learn in the magic method is the fact that you are really assessing the client for fit. They're assessing you, but you are assessing them for fit as much as they're assessing you, possibly even more. So if you find they don't fit because they don't fit on your either your customer preferred attributes list or your preferred project list, then your job is to bring out that magic two letter word no and, and just let them know politely that you're not a good fit for them. And you might suggest them to someone who is. But unless you say no, 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 no to 50% of the projects that come along, the danger is you're going to win some of them. And if you win some of them, you're going to end up on projects which are horrible or you're going to end up doing projects where you don't get paid properly for them. And that's unfair on you. You end up losing money on projects or just breaking even, but you lose all that time. So we need to free up time for you to do your marketing and for you to win projects that are worth winning. And that means eliminating the projects and the people who aren't worth winning. So have a think about that form your no list. You'll love it.